Hello guys, I wanted to show you, show off my mini 3x3 cylinder. Um, now, this cube, this puzzle was made from a mini keychain 3x3. One of those cheap generic ones that I got off of eBay. And, I think it actually turned out really well. It's perfectly round, super symmetrically round on the outside. Round here. Um, the color scheme is a bit odd because I had some leftover stickers from restickering um, one of my other keychain 3x3s. Uh, but I use light blue, lavender, or light purple, red, pink, light pink, I don't remember exactly what shade this is, and bright green. Now, I use, um, keychain sticker, I use keychain, um, 3x3 stickers, and the set that I use, I use to cut out the green and the blue side, I use one of these, uh, Canadian $2 coins, uh, to use as a template, because the Canadian $2 coin is exactly the same diameter as the circle right here. Uh, me, when I, sh after shaving it all, um, cutting it all down, I actually shaved down w at least one millimeter from the middle side. Definitely. As you can see right there. See how deep it got shaved around. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is a really cool, interesting puzzle. The reason why I chose this color scheme and color color configuration is because I just felt like doing it this way. And if you can see, I don't know how well you can see, you can see best on this purple one, that there's a faint line there because I actually cut um, the um, square sticker um, in a specific way to make it fit over here because I didn't really have a full uncut sticker sheet of these colors to cut from so yeah but I'll go ahead and quickly scramble this and I might do a solve on this on camera but it's really interesting and with the color configuration it had um it's really simple, a bit simpler to solve than a normal 3x3. Uh, due to the color configuration and all that. Uh, and there's a little parity at the end, but nothing major. Um, so, uh, here it is all scrambled up. And I like how it looks all scrambled up. So right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and solve this. But, when solving this, you have to worry about um, orienting the red centers correctly because they do actually have an orientation. Technically, I'm not actually going to solve this because the camera battery is um, dead. But, hey, anyway, here it, it is all scrambled up. 